Hello and welcome to another LTP, Learn to Paint with Mike. That is to say, I am Mike and I am learning to paint, and you're welcome to join me. We are going to continue working on this Nerif today, and I'm almost totally finished with the skin tone. I'm going to do a little bit of a dry brush technique once I find my dry brush brush. Uh -huh. Here we go. All right. Now I want to get... So we're back to our bleached sand. All right. And I'm going to put a little bit more of that right down here. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of just plain old white. Now this is a warm white as opposed to a cool white go. Now, what I'm going to do is find my dry brush again. There we are. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to mix this highest skin tone with a white. So, I'm essentially just mixing both those together. Now, this is probably more paint than I'm going to use. Because if you've done dry brushing before, you'll know that I don't really use a ton of paint. Alright, let's keep on mixing. Keep on mixing. Okay. Alright, so I've got most of the paint off there. But, now I'm going to take almost all the paint off of there. I'm going to get myself a paper towel. And of course it's across the room. But I've got it now. Here it is. Proof that I have a paper towel. In case you thought I was lying. <laughs> okay. So here's my paper towel. And I've got this brush that's just kind of full of paint. And essentially I'm just going to take the vast majority of that paint off. And next, I'm going to take my Nerif. Here she is, beautiful. And I'm going to bring that mostly dry brush and bring it right over the, the top of my wing here. So it just catches the topmost. And actually, there we go. Just the very topmost edges here. There we go. And on the under underside here. I'm still going to use that same color. I'm going to have a little bit out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to rub my brush where I had dried my brush a little bit. I've only got a little bit of paint on there. There we go. Just a little bit on the outermost edges. I'm not worried about getting under here because the shadow of the over of the higher wing would block full sun. But I am going to come out over here. There we go. There we go. All right. A little more paint here. other side.
next piece of wing, just hitting the topmost section there. There we go. Wing. And right here, mostly concentrating on this back side here where the sun would shine. And then we'll hit this front. Oh, I think I want just a little more paint. So again, I'm just going to use some of that that I rubbed off. And I'm actually going to hit essentially all the top most parts, the parts that the sun would actually shine down on. And then a little bit here, just on the front, but not worried about getting under here, just getting this front curve of the tail. There we go. I like that. You can see it's a very, well, fairly smooth gradient from this darkest point here all the way up to the highest point up here. And all that done with the technique I've been using. So, so far I'm, I'm okay with this level of blending. Um, I don't know if you have some tips or tricks for, for blending. I would love to hear them in the comments below. Now, I'm going to call that done with this flesh tone on the Nerif. Yeah, I really, really like that. So now, I'm going to move on uh, to this. So I'm going to show you, I'm kind of in the middle with my serif here of putting the the base coat for you can see here it's pretty obvious it's the brown okay and the color I'm going to use for that just adjust my camera just a little bit okay so this base coat I'm using there we are. It is apparently called Traditional Burnt Sienna. Okay. And I'm going to put a base coat of this. So I've got a slightly thinner brush. Okay, and I'm actually going to be using a fairly, fairly wet paint here. Now, I'm going to go with this over all these bony parts. Now, just like before, I'm going to concentrate in the armpits and in the places that are most difficult to get to. So, that's this bony ventral quest, or crest. Is it called a crest if it's underneath? I'm not sure. Anyway, the bony bits on the bottom. Now these parts right in here, they look very similar to the bony parts, to these. Oh, I'm going to have to find a name for these parts. These scales on the bottom. But I think that's actually just bone structure and flight muscles under there. That is not actually bony, 
but that the the bones underneath here and the muscles are just showing through the, the flesh. So I'm not going to use this bony color. Sorry, this scale color on them. I'm going to leave them as flesh. I'm going to get under here. There we are. Just right under the jaw. A little more paint. Hit the other side of this jaw. There we go. Alright, now we'll hit the top side of the lower jaw. Just like this. This part is definitely scaly, but I'm going to do a fleshy kind of connector color there. So I'm not going to totally cover it with the base coat, just put a little bit on there. Alright. Now we paint this head bone. All the head bones connected to the neck bone. The neck bones connected to the First wing bone, first wing bones connected to the spine bone, and then there's another wing bone. All right. This bony thing here. Sorry, not bony. Stony bit there. I'm gonna kind of leave this back, this part back in here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, pardon me. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it not painted with this brown color. Um, I'm thinking I'll do it kind of the similar fleshy color as, as I'm gonna do on the side of the jaw. Okay, I'm gonna hit the back side of this. skull plate and the underside here. Oh, you can't see that. There we go. There we go. Lovely. Alright, I love that. Very nice. And that's only half the skull. Now this Nerif. She's got a mean skull. So she has two primary attacks. One of them is, of course, this tail, which is long. And can come right up and grab people. And the other is this fantastic armored faceplate. She uses this skull bone to beat back her opponents. She has a rule where if she hits you with her head, you get pushed back an inch. And then she can follow up and move up an inch. The rule is called beat back. Surprisingly enough, it's what it does. Very good naming. I'm going to get the underside of this skull plate. There we go. I'll hit this a little bit there. There we go. Very nice. Good start. What's that saying? 
well begun is half done. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? But that's obviously not, not half of my uh, model. There we go. Looks like I got a little bit more wet how the paint makes over here. side here to match that. Because on this side it definitely looks more scaly. So I'm gonna scale it up baby. And I'm gonna kind of bring that color out. A little growth on the side of her neck. Okay, I'll come back here to the spot between her legs. Oh, this is fairly difficult to get to, so I'm not sure I'll be able to actually paint the spot I need and show you what I'm actually doing. So. We take it on faith for just a minute that what I'm doing is painting the underside right where well frankly it's her crotch right between her legs and in front of her tail all right oh, I'll hit this side Bring the color a little bit further along the skin back here. All right. There's the underside of her belly, which on a mammal would be the soft underbelly. <coughs> but apparently, if you're descended from the dragon ever blight. You have no soft belly. Your belly has armor on it. All right, so now I'm gonna try and pick out so you can see on her shoulders. She's got these little bony bits or uh, scales. So I'm gonna hit them with my brush. seem to be doing fairly poorly at it. Okay, but mostly, eventually those are going to be very dark. So I'll show you here on my Carnivian. So we've got the base coat here and then he's got these spiny bits on here. Okay. Or, uh, I guess he doesn't have any, I mean maybe like, like on here. So eventually those topmost bits are going to be the dark umber. Very dark. For now they're, they're just kind of light. And uh, I'm not too worried about getting this lighter color on the skin. Um, Because I've I've made a made that kind of a standard that so like back here under the tail those aren't that's not a spiny part but it's going to be different colored than the rest of the the skin so I've set it so that this burnt sienna is kind of the base color and then the the highlighted color is the burnt umber. Alright, let's get some of these.
Okay, now essentially from her elbow onward, just like our Angelius here. Okay, so if you look at the underside, got her forearm, and then from the elbow onward is where the color changes. I've already followed that pattern with my serif. Okay, oh, and actually, it looks like I need to change that on here because this is the her hand, that would be her elbow, so I'm going to have to color that to follow my pattern. So, on this narif, from the elbow on, so here's the forearm, here's the elbow, that's where we're going to put our first layers this burnt sienna base coat. Now, I'm actually going to use a very thin paint and a very narrow brush to go down the middle here. Because she doesn't really have a lot of foam sticking through. And have that hard scaly part on the top side of her wings like my Angelius does. So I'm mostly just going to I'm not going to darken this middle part any more than it already is. I'm just going to put a single single line Just like this. There we go. Along the front. Just like this. Okay. I'm going to use a bit thicker paint on the clawed fingertips, the fingernails wings and but this part definitely is a hard structure okay the are there we are <laughs> with the top of one wing same wing. Now it has all of the the hard structure. So it's going to get darkened more than just this base and this first color. Eventually. that fingernail. There we go. I'm gonna hit this and the fingernail back there. There we go. Try to a little bit smoother line there. Right. Hit up the top parts there. There we go. Alright. Get your fingernails done. Yeah, this Nerf, she's not vain. Like a human would be. No. She leaves her nails their natural color.
burnt sienna is perfect for her in all seasons. She doesn't paint her nails for Christmas. She doesn't go to the Vietnamese beauty parlor to get fancy glitter gel put on. No. She knows she's beautiful. There we go. Get all the edges. I am going to hit the back side. The underside. A little bit more paint. There we go. Let's get this back side. Very good. There's this back side. There. Lovely. One more finger done. her index finger. There we go. Make sure we get the back side. Sure, I get the back side of her talon or her thumb or whatever that you would call that. Ah, oh, there we go. I like that start. Looking very good. Very, very good. Okay. So while I'm on this side. this area. Now this is going to be very tricky. Again, I apologize if you can't see exactly what I'm doing in here. Partly because I can barely see what I'm doing back there. Ah, there we go. And then we'll hit the side. Getting her pretty fingernail. should look up bat anatomy so I can start using the right terms on these things. and even watery and thin line. A little bit too much there. Okay.
And again, too much. Fortunately, my finger is right there. And it's dry. So it'll pull up some of that extra paint. There we go. Alright, time for the underside. Uh oh, I'm doing it wrong. Who can tell me what I'm doing wrong here? Starting with the outside. And I really should start on the inside. So that if I mess up the inside, or if I'm sloppy while doing the inside, and I hit the outside, I can fix it. Start with her ring finger. I guess continue with her ring finger because I started with her pinky. And you can only see my hand. There we go. Is that better? And now we want to hit the underside here. her ring finger. I'm going to hit the front, sorry, the back surface of her thumb. Alright. Now for the middle finger. side. Now, the back side. All the way along. There we go. One more finger down. One more to go. Her index finger. Imagine a Nerf flaps into the nearest library. Starts going through the card catalog. Flip, 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 flip with one of these big long wing fingers. Excuse me. I don't believe you're doing that correctly. And then Arif says, What? Well, it's my index finger. I know, it's a funny joke. In other words, not a funny joke. Alright, there we are. Half of the wings down, some of the spine done, but we are out of time for this video. Thank you for watching with me. As always, if you have any tips or tricks or hints, I would love to hear them. Please leave them in the comments below. And. 
If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you liked this video, please like it with the button. And I'll see you next time. And here is my clever closing comment. Goodbye.